Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another Gordon Nification YouTube video. And no, this is not a Washington Dallas Airport update 15. This is not a Dallas update. This is a just walking you through my new terminal. Because if you can't see, uh, my Inadrable 7 still hasn't come yet. It has currently been on the. M I don't know how, but they've spent the past five days driving it from Teterboro, New Jersey to um, Knoxville. I don't know how that's possible. But um, yeah, and even if I did get it today, I don't have enough time to record just because a huge airport update like this will take easily an hour. So I just don't have time to record the video, even if I have the plane. So I just wanted to walk you through my new AMV concourse terminal, starting with the United Express area. I have um, a few United Express gates. I feel like this will be a pretty um, good design um, for the years to come for Dallas um, in the United Express area. It's not exactly to scale. Um, this airport is not exactly to scale just because Dallas is way, way, way too big for me to perfectly replicate it onto one, um, you know, five foot long um, table kind of. So um, here we have this express area like I was talking about. It's very nice. Um, I hope to get um, a couple more CRJ to like if um. Um, so I just does do another CRJ200 um, once air, um, and then my camera is out of focus. Great. There we go. But yeah, if Airbus, um, if um, Gemini just rather do a release of an Air Wisconsin CRJ200 in the new livery, once Air Wisconsin starts to repaint um, some of their CRJ200s in the new livery, um, then I will buy probably two more of those. I got three SkyWest. CRJ 200s and one Air Wisconsin CRJ 200. The three Sky West are in the new livery, and the one Air Wisconsin is in the older Continental Globe merger livery thing. And then uh, moving on to the um, north side, as you can see, um, I got two heavy gates and then seven narrow body gates on this side. Uh, here's my British Airways A350 1000, looking great. Can't wait for that update, by the way. And then there's another empty heavy gate. And I got, you know, two um, narrow body gates. And I got, you know, seven narrow body gates in total. We have a United, um, well, not United American CRJ 900. Um, yeah, my um, Delta CRJ 900 is still broken, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited to hopefully get Dulles done. Not done, but get a Dulles update now um, next week. Because, you um, my United Triple Seven still hasn't came, and even if it did come, I didn't have enough time to record, just because I've had a very busy week. And here's a new model that I'll be unveiling. Um, sneak peek of that new model. I'll be unveiling in next update. Um, I cannot wait to unveil that. And then um, the south end of my concourse, we have um, six heavy gates, um, which can also be turned into twelve um, narrow body gates. And then here's a taxi lane, it's still big enough to fit um, a heavy plane. Still big enough to fit like a 767 or 777, I made sure of that. But it cannot fit two planes um, alongside each other anymore, unfortunately. And then here, you know, obviously there's the United Terminal, still looking good. But yeah, I'm sorry to not have another update out. Um, but yeah, Dallas Update 15 coming out next week. Um, I think I probably just jinxed myself, but tell us update 15 out next week. So yeah, thank you for watching this again. Really short Gordon Aviation YouTube video. And um, yeah, thank you.